In this lecture, let's try to understand what is a decorator factory and let's also create a simple decorator factory in our example. Now, a decorator factory is nothing but it is a function that returns a decorator function and it provides a way to create decorators that can be customized based on configuration options or parameters and this allows more flexibility and reusability in your decorators. Let's try to understand decorator factory with an example. So currently what we have is here we have a function called logger which we are using as a decorator and when we are using it we are not using parenthesis in order to call it because this logger decorator this logger function it will be called at runtime. Now what I want is I also want to pass some configurations some parameters to use inside this logger function. Now since we are not calling this function directly here like this we cannot pass a value a configuration value from outside to this logger function. So what we can do here is we can create a decorator factory and in decorator factory what we do is we simply create a function let's call it maybe logger decorator okay and from within this function we are going to return a decorator function. So this logger is our decorator function let's go ahead and let's define this function inside this logger decorator and from this function let's simply return that logger function okay and it is going to work in the same way the only change which we need to do is now instead of calling logger because now this logger is local to this logger decorator function so it will not be visible outside of this function so we cannot use it here so now we can simply use this logger decorator function and here we will have to call this logger decorator function then only it is going to return this logger function which we want to use as decorator so when we are going to call this function we are going to receive a function we are going to receive this logger function which we want to use as decorator okay so in place of this expression we will receive this logger function and indirectly we are decorating this user class with that logger function so it will act as a decorator for this user class okay so remember that when we are using decorator factory decorator factory is a function from within which we are returning a decorator function in this case this logger function is the decorator function so when we are using the decorator factory at that time we need to call that decorator factory function okay if i go ahead and if i save the changes the behavior should be same you will see that first it is logging the message logging then it is logging the target all right and since we have not created any instance of this user class we are not seeing the console.log message which we have written inside the constructor so let me go ahead and let me uncomment this let's save the changes and now you will also see that constructor message so everything here is working as expected now why would we want to use okay here also i need to use a set of parentheses like this all right now why would we want to use decorator factory we would want to use decorator factory when we want to pass some data from outside of the decorator function so for example here let's say i'll create a parameter maybe log message which is going to be of type string all right and let me go and let me comment this console.log statement i don't want to log the target now and when we are calling this logger decorator we are going to pass a value for this log message so for example let's say this is custom logger and this is just for understanding okay so this message will be assigned to this log message and now what we want is we want to use this log message instead of this message logging and now if we save the changes you will see that we have this message this is custom logger so the value which we are going to receive for this log message and after that we have the message from the user class constructor so in this way using factory decorator we can pass data from outside of the logger function here i have only specified one parameter but we can have multiple parameters so this is the use of decorator factory 
This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.